question. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Like, that's, uh, somebody said that last night. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe that's it. It's uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, these guys are they're they're out of their league, and it's hard to blame them entirely because they just they shouldn't be out there. We got to blame the NFL and blame the owners for not getting the real refs out there. We're talking to Josh Sitton. He's a guard for the Green Bay Packers. Josh, what happened when you all went back into the locker room and actually saw that replay for the first time? Well, that's when we actually got, like I said, I didn't have a great view of it on the field. Um, you know, we we all uh, stood around the TVs, you know, had two or three TVs in the locker room and watched it uh, and pretty much went into a dog cussing session, uh, you know, after that of the refs and, and, and the whole situation. You know, a lot of unhappy guys. Um, it, it, it wasn't pretty in that locker room, and the media kind of came in right at that same time, and it, it was. And then, it, but before that, the freaking ref comes in there and you know telling us we have to go and do an extra point, and you know I, they didn't know what was going on in that situation. So I mean, they, they just don't know what's going on, and uh, they were kind of getting they were getting happy a little bit when they came in our locker room. But you know, after we saw the replay. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of pissed off guys, understandably, and especially the guys that were involved in the play. I mean, it, um, it's, it, you don't want games to come down to referees, and, and we knew it was going to happen eventually. We just we didn't know it was going to happen to us last night. Josh Sitton's my guest. Josh, what was said to the referee when he walked in your locker room? <laughs> I <laughs> um, there's a few choice words thrown his way. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> He looked, he looked scared. Uh, he looked pretty scared. His eyes were big and bug eyed. He didn't look too happy to be in there. I'll just leave it at that. I don't really want to say, uh, all the, all the words that would be, th- that were being thrown out there. Listen, can you explain? I mean, I, I know the answer to the question. How does it feel? It feels like crap. How do you think it feels? But I mean, what I'm getting at is none of us really know the price that's paid, the sacrifices are made, the work that goes into preparing for and winning an NFL game. To do all that work and then to have it ripped from you from a referee, can you explain how that felt? Yeah, I mean, we talk about all the time, you know, our, our main goal, our offensive objective, obviously, win the game. We talk about it all the time, how hard it is to win a game in this league. We put in, you know, countless hours. We train our bodies. We kill our bodies. I mean, you know, I'm in an extreme amount of pain today from playing a football game, uh, and to have it ripped away from from a bad call is, is extremely disappointing. And, and you know, you always go through every game, and I think the refs have been pretty awful in the first three games in general for everywhere around the league. But I, I, mean, I feel for our games, it's been bad. So to have them, you know, take away a game that you that you put your heart and soul into, and uh, you put so much time and effort into it, it's kind of a pain in the ass, and it just it, it really pisses you off and really gets under your skin. Talking to Josh Sitton. Hey Josh, what did you make of Golden Tate's comments after the game, where he was asked, "Did you get away with a push?" and said, "I don't know what you're talking about," and then pretty much said that he think, made that catch. What was your reaction to that? I, th- I think the two biggest goats out of this whole thing are, are Pete Carroll and, and Golden Tate, you know, they're calling it a good call and, and Golden Tate saying he caught it and there was no push in the back. I mean, be a man. I, you know, you can be happy you won the game. I understand that. Stuff's going to happen. But be a man and admit that it was a bullcrap call and stand up and have some integrity. I mean, how are you going to face your freaking team when, you, you know, they know it's uh, bullcrap? Uh, I just I think Golden Tate and Pete Carroll are, are completely full of crap. Talking to Josh Sitton, what would have been an appropriate response? What were you looking for either one or both of them to say afterwards? Um, I, you know, we're happy with the win. Uh, the rest weren't great. Uh, we can't control that. Uh, you know, we're happy with the win. Probably not the best call, but you know, we got the call. We're happy with the. Josh Sitton's my guest. Hey, Josh, bottom line, I mean, do you think that this is going to change anything at all? Will the owners look at this and say, all right, enough's enough. We can't have this. The brand, the brand is now bleeding. We need to fix it. Or do you think maybe they just don't give a damn and they know the fans are going to keep showing up and they're just going to keep doing what they're doing? Yeah, I don't think they care. Um, you know, they know that they know what type of 
business we have, and they know the fans are going to keep showing up. And um, definitely, there's some there's needs to be something done. Um, I wish I had an answer. I wish I could. If I could go on strike, I, I freaking would just to end this crap. You know, I, I really would. I, I don't know that we can. We probably can't because of the CBA. But I just I wish there was an answer. Um, I don't think they're gonna. Yeah, I don't think they care. They flat out don't care. Uh, they've been talking about um, player safety and clearly the replacement refs. And honestly, you know, it, it it's really not their fault. They're not experienced enough. I, I can't I can't express that enough. Um, but the the safety of the players right now is 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 out of the win, out the window. Um, I mean, you see the play last night where Greg Jane just gets freaking ran over. 20 yards down the field, and they don't end up throwing the flag until after he throws a punch. I mean, you know, it's 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 getting ridiculous, but I don't think they're going to do anything about it. It's a whole other issue right there, player safety. Hey, Josh, one last thought. The league is expected to issue a statement regarding what happened last night. Would an apology to you and to Green Bay make you feel any better about this from the league? <laughs> no. It's not going to take it away. Nothing's going to make it change, obviously. Um, the only thing that's going to make this better, I think, is if there's something uh, on a large scale done, and, and whether that's you know done by players, the officials, the, the league, the Roger, um, the, the owners. I mean, there's got to be a, they, they need to get they need to get a settlement done. They need to get that figured out, or there needs to be something else done. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to figure out the answer. Uh, but there are people that are smart enough, and there, there needs to be there needs to be something figured out. That's the only way that this is going to get better because this is just uh, one play that everybody saw, and it happens to be the big deal. Um, but it's been going on every week uh, and pretty much every game. It's just everybody saw this one, and this one's a big deal. Uh, it's been going on. It's going to continue to happen, so it needs to get handled. It's a real big deal. I'm not blowing out the show open unless it's a big deal. Green Bay Packers guard, Josh Sitton, my guest. He gets us started five years in the NFL. Josh, I know you had a long night. I know you had a bad night. I appreciate you starting this show off and coming on. It's always good to run you down, and thanks for that conversation. All right. Thanks, Jim. Jay bob be good. Josh Sitton, not happy, needless to say. And I can't say that I blame him. one 800